culture. How can one define the meaning for what one may call lifestyle? Some say it's a family practice, some say it's religion. We each have our own traditions to go by. As well as within our beliefs and whichever the conditions may be, I would like to define culture as a value of trust and also a belief. Believe in what we believe and doing what we must. Hip hop is a culture I have dedicated my life to. From artists with songs and moral lessons, it is possible you can learn a thing or two. True that hip hop has originated from one race, but from the list of how many fell for the love for the genre, the movement must be embraced and not just by one race. Songs ranging from styles to rhythm as blues as well as to rap. Give a listen to the souls of poets and believe me, you will not call the music crap. Here I begin with a story to tell, a story of how hip hop started as a movement and not a means for business to sell. As a child, I never had interest of words or terms, let alone symbolic meanings. But as I was introduced to hip hop, I was influenced to write a story of creativity, a story of my life with twists and turns, cuts and burns, still made pleasant to be. I mean no harm to abuse the pen and pad. Am I wrong to write about the life I never even wish I had? What started out as a dream, I believe my confidence was underestimated. Estimated. But as soon as I revealed my work, I was attacked and made to believe in what I wanted to achieve was far from complicated. Who knew that having a dream, let alone even trying to reach, could get you hated? You're only simply putting in effort into what you like, but others view as if you are trying to be number one top rated. Music is a soul as well as it is a passion. I embrace hip hop and give credits to where it's due. Therefore, urban wear is my fashion. Okay, I see that my hat is tipped on one side and my clothes may seem like it have loose ends. But understand, I am falling in what I believe and not what is portrayed as a new trend. It goes for the same for a girl who will not let a guy know about her past or her secrets. Don't misjudge her because you do not know her. Here is an example as follows for the analogy of a girl who should not be misjudged. <clears throat> Sweet but not shallow, she is simply a young lady trying to achieve her goals. A man sees her beauty and wishes to know, with questions pondering as to who is she? Is she hot? Is she cold? Or is she conning an ex simply for gold? The stranger questions the lady, and the lady's look of response was as if the man was crazy. She simply replied, who are you to question me about my whereabouts? You do not know me, and that is without a doubt. Sweet but not shallow, so you do not call me a stuck up and so and so. Do not refer to me as a gardening tool you arguing fools or as am I just a simple girl just trying to achieve a goal call it wrong call it right for I am pure because my belief is to put my virginity on hold until the day I meet a man not like you who I can see as not cold but bold Rap is a form of poetry that started in the late age. Classical music is art, but hip hop is too. Therefore, many rap artists take the stand to what they believe and prove too. Urban wear, street life, passion, hip hop grew. From struggling individuals to individuals in the suburbs who also have the same passion. Hip hop is a movement because it is quick acting. Then, lights, camera, action, no need for the glamour and fashion. Hip hop is all about love for the culture and artists all around cast their own casting. From freestyle to lyrical metaphors, you can say hip hop is an English class in a different form. May I say more? Before I depart, I would like to recite some lines about how I feel about the culture. Life is short, but I still take the long road. Conditions hot or cold, my confidence makes me feel bold. Haters and agitators move all around me. They don't understand the music, the movement, because they don't take the time to see you prove it. Everybody has their culture, and this is mine. I love hip-hop, and this is how I would like for the culture to be defined.